Welcome back. We head south now as we drop in on South Africa's capital, Pretoria, to visit the country's premier training facility, the High Performance Center. Launched back in 2002, the High Performance Center was South Africa's first elite performance sports facility. It's fast established itself as a training ground for international sportsmen, but its key aim is to provide the springboard for launching young talent into global competition. We believe that we are a, a very dormant nation. Uh, there's a lot of talent out there and we are going to try and enhance the sporting prowess of the young sporting talent in South Africa and hopefully one day become one of the top medal winners in world sport. The HPC, as it's known, not only focuses on improving its pupils' sporting prowess, but also places firm emphasis on education, with a schedule designed for moulding well-rounded future champions. I will wake up at like half past five, go to swimming at six, train from six to eight. After swimming, we go shower, go to breakfast, go to school, until three o'clock and then we leave school the buses bring us back and we start our heavy schedule again an hour of gymming two hours of swimming come back for supper do our homework go to bed so it's that routine every day so you never actually have time to yourself the high performance center is such a great facility with the school where the kids they train in the morning they go to school you know i believe if kids just play tennis and play tv games it's not going to help them but if their brain is active when you're on a tennis court and you play and you get in a tough situation, you've got to be active. Your brain, you've got to think, you've got to try and outclass your opponent. So it's a great system and we're very happy that we can be part of it. As well as the sporting and academic tuition, the HPC also offers sportsmen the optimum in physical training conditions and facilities. We have 12 months of magnificent weather. So throughout the year, we're a training venue that can be utilised. Furthermore, we also have high altitude or medium altitude as well too. Um, which is perfect for the, the athlete. And then we're also a one-stop shop as well too with the facilities you have here, from the accommodation to the sports science gymnasium, to the medical center, to the restaurant, to the relaxation and swimming pool. We believe this is a jewel uh, waiting to be discovered. The HPC goes to great lengths to make sure the facilities are available to all, providing opportunity for potential champions from all walks of life. No, it's actually a wonderful story because little Morris, I actually saw him in the Amendment Shopping Centre and I actually approached his parents to ask whether we can't come to this venue to, for training and then we brought another acro gymnast from Nels Freda and we teamed the two of them up and have done an amazing job up to now. Since June last year they've just done amazing stuff. As far as I'm concerned they're the only two male couple that would ever be able to represent South Africa at um, world champs. Since the 2004 Olympics, we've won a bronze medal with our Olympic heavyweight men's pair, um, and there's been a lot more interest in rowing, a lot more funding. Um, one of our big things is transformation um, to grow the sports in our communities, and the academy is allowing this to happen where I scout for talented kids in disadvantaged communities and bring them into our program so that we can develop athletes for 2012 and beyond the Olympics. And this is just the route that we can excel and speed up the performances. The scouting has reaped great rewards for the HPC as it's provided South Africa with not only national but also international success, headed by 17-year-old Suzanne Van Biljon, leading the nation's swimmers to glory. Before I came here, I was um, just a senior national swimmer um, from Freestead, and like this year and last year, I went to my first international world champs, got my first international medal at Commonwealth and world champ short course. So definitely it's put, uh, raised my level of swimming since being at HPC. If you're in the sports realm, you know about Susan and uh, her ability and her talent that she has. And right now, she's that future for swimming um, and a great idol for a lot of these, these younger athletes um, to look at, look up to, and then hopefully try and get themselves to that point. You know, hard work always pays off in the end, more so than talent. Yeah, the academy has been very successful because we most of our juniors are playing like uh, junior national teams and some of them we've had two two guys already playing for the senior national teams in our under 23s so yeah most of our senior players are internationals and yeah I mean as youngsters we look up to them to one day make it where they are. Combining the mix of education and training the high performance centre aims to continue leading the way for South African and international sportsmen. I love the atmosphere here I, I couldn't see myself being anywhere else because when you hear everyone's got the same mental or goal in mind we know we're working towards the same thing you know we have dreams we want to go somewhere and it's so great being able to share it with lots of other special people here 